Good afternoon, hello and welcome back guys to another video on my channel. So yesterday I posted a video about why I was VAC banned and how I was VAC banned on CSGO. And in that video I told you that there is a way you can still play CSGO and today I'll be posting a tutorial on how you can do that. So as you can see right now, if I go into play and find a game and I try and queue for a competitive match, then you're going to see that I get an error message saying that I have a VAC ban on record. Now, you say, I suppose if you VAC ban then that's fair enough. Can I go for a deathmatch? No, no I can't. As you're going to see, VAC ban on record. Now, the bit that really annoys me is that if you go on to Dust2, or if you just go onto any map you like and you're offline with bots and you press go, it's still, when it loads in, it's still going to stop you, as you, as you can see. See, here we are, after about a 30 second loading time, and my game almost crashing, it's finally disconnected me from an offline server because it's fact banned. So, the only way that you can play Counter Strike Offensive when you have a fact ban is supposedly changing the filters and going for a non secure server. But as you can see on your screen, there are no non secure servers. Literally, at this particular time, unless it's still refreshing, but at this particular time in the game, that you cannot play CSGO if you have a VAC ban. So here I am, and I'm going to try and change that today. So, the way you want to play CSGO with a VAC ban, you want to close it onto Steam, and you want to go into your library, and you want to locate your Counter Strike Global Offensive game. You want to right click on this game, and you want to hit Properties. Now, in Properties, you want to go to Launch Options, or Set Launch Options here, and you want to type, and this is word for word, Minus key, I N S E C U R E, minus insecure. Now that launches Counter Strike Global Offensive with an insecure prompt. So that way, when we launch Counter Strike now, you're going to get a message when it launches, as you're about to see. And what that message does is it allows you to it allows you to play offline. Now I'm not saying that you can play matchmaking. I never suggested that you could do that. However, it means that the servers you play on and you create will be offline. Now as you can see here, Valve Anti-Cheat. You have launched the game in insecure mode from outside of Steam or with the minus insecure flag, which we've done. Your game file signatures will not be validated and you will not be allowed. Now, what this what this essentially means is, in regards to the game is, you cannot play on VAC secured servers. But at the end of the day, if you have a VAC ban, then you can't play on VAC secured servers anyway. But let me just show you, if you try and queue for competitive, that's not gonna work because you've got a VAC ban and you're with in secure mode, right? But what you can do is if you go offline with bots and you want to go on whatever you want, so I'm just going to click on this and then you hit go and then you go and choose whatever you want, you can do offline with bots and you can do that competitively on a offline with bots competitive on a real map where you can do workshop maps with offline with bots and you can even, like I assume, play with your friends, although I haven't tested that. So that's how you can play CSGO or make some use of your game with when you're VAC banned. Of course, if you want to play competitive or you want to play deathmatch online on a VAC secured server, then you're going to go and have to buy the game again. Because naturally, a VAC ban is permanent and non-negotiable, even if you're banned unfairly like I was. But thank you guys very much for watching this video on how to play CSGO whilst you're VAC banned, because many people won't know this, and... Even if you're going to get a new game, you can do this in the meantime, just like keep your aim on because it's quite important not to lose your aim. I'm going to let this load so I can actually show you I'm not lying. But um, this is one way you can keep your aim in. This is one way you can play the game whilst using slash insecure um, flag. And here we are. CSGO, as it always was. And, yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like this tutorial, feel free to comment below, or you can like it, share it, etc, etc, etc. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.